Hey, True Believers Anglantine here. So, uh, woke up to some news, huh? Uh, actually, who's who's really surprised? I am a little bit, only because I would expect Daredevil to be the last one they would cancel. Like, of all the ones that Netflix wants to hand, keep a hand on, to, to actually control the reins of, the ones that we want Netflix to keep a hold of would be this one would be Daredevil, but unfortunately it was announced that Daredevil is canceled after three seasons. So, uh, yeah, wow. First it was the Defenders, you know, and they said, well, we weren't really planning on the Defenders to be more than just one season, which I call BS because if that thing had done gangbusters, we'd be into season two, three, four, and all, all sorts. Uh, it's So, yeah, I didn't buy into that one. I don't think anyone was surprised at Iron Fist. Even though the second season was better than the first, the first gave such an ill feeling to people that that really Iron Fist was doomed from the start. Uh, Luke Cage kind of surprised me because while it wasn't the critical darling, people loved it, and uh, season two also was better than season one, so that one was kind of a surprise. I really thought that Jessica Jones would be the next one down, tell you the truth. Mainly because I thought the second season was so bad, it should have came with a cancellation notice at, at the end of the 13th episode. Seriously, it was that horrible of a season. It just didn't deserve, uh, it, to me it doesn't deserve to move on. And I'm pretty sure we're going to hear that cancellation uh, pretty soon, any time now. So, uh, I think they're filming or they're done filming Punisher season two uh so I, I'm not after Daredevil Falls it seems like yeah they're just biding the time that that's how I see it anyway uh, obviously Disney wants their properties back my guess is they're gonna go to Hulu because they're not gonna go to the Disney service uh, streaming they, they said Disney streaming was gonna be more family friendly so, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Unless they're going to water down the Netflix shows, it's they're just not going to be a good fit. And I think that would hurt shows like Daredevil. Definitely would hurt The Punisher, but it would hurt Dare Daredevil. Daredevil's never been rated R, but it's definitely been a bit darker than what you usually get from Marvel and that's one of the best things about it it's not afraid to push where it needs to push like I said it never goes into the hard R area but it's it's still darker than the like say the Marvel movies and I, I, I appreciate that I appreciate the uh, fact that the Punisher can be that way as well and oh my gosh I hope they don't I hope they don't <laughs> freaking mess things up Seriously, I love the Daredevil show, man. Even though I think season two is weaker than season one, I love season one, and season three is my favorite of the of the three. So, wow. I mean, just uh, based on Vincent D'Onofrio as Kingpin alone, season three rocked. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, there was a little statement to go with this cancellation. Marvel's Daredevil will not return for a fourth season on Netflix. We are tremendously proud of the show's last and final season. And although it's painful for the fans, we feel it best to close this chapter on a high note, a Netflix spokesperson said in a statement. We're thankful to showrunner Eric Olson, the show's writers, stellar crew, and incredible cast, including Charlie Cox's Daredevil himself. And we're grateful to the fans who have supported the show over the years. While the series on Netflix has ended, the three existing seasons will remain on the service for years to come while the Daredevil character will live on in future projects for Marvel. Yeah, I'm guessing streaming service, because, I mean, there is enough interest, don't you think? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Um, let's see, Netflix now only has two remaining live-action Marvel shows from the Defenders family, Jessica Jones and The Punisher. The cancellations have come as Disney preps its own streaming service, as has begun to pull back rights to film and television projects licensed to Netflix. So Disney is basically abandoning ship. Gotta leave. Gotta go. We got our own party to start so we can't give the soda to you. We need it for our own people. That's basically what's going on here, isn't it? Wow. 
I don't know. Like I said, uh, I just don't see it fitting. Um, not on the new streaming service, but they do own a big chunk of Hulu. And Hulu, you know, don't they have like the Handmaid's Tale and all that kind of stuff? So now if Disney owns a big chunk of that, they can, uh, I think it's that's the one that they own. But uh, since they own a big chunk of that, they could just shift all their property over there. You know, okay, we're going to do uh, Luke Cage and Daredevil and Punisher, and we're going to find two better things other than Iron Fist and Jessica Jones. How about that Daughters of the Dragon thing that's been teased for a while now? I think that would be pretty fun. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, that's just my opinion anyway. Let's see... Um, what else is being said here in, in their little announcement on Variety? Uh, overall, the cancellation of the series starring, starring Cox and Vin Vincent D'Onofrio, who had been tweeting about a fourth season in the past few weeks, shows just how strained relationships is between Netflix and Jeff Lo and the Jeff Lobrun Marvel TV has become. Huh. That's weird. Because of the sentence structure there, they actually have a, a period right there, and then it continues. Anyway, I, that, I, that's just neither here nor there. Uh, the fact is, times have changed on the digital landscape. Marvel shows on Netflix are costly to make, even with the New York generous tax credit, which had an extra clause added to the added to accommodate the series. When the initial deal with Marvel Disney was made by Netflix five years ago, the company, desperate to gain big draw content, laid out big bucks for the series which it never owned. Now the situation is very different with Netflix awash in new series and returning series that it holds the key that it holds the keys to. So there you go. I mean, it's all a money thing, I guess. And why not if Netflix no longer needs Marvel? It's just ah, as a fan, I'm a, that's that's the one that hurts. This is the one that actually hurts. What you going to do? Ah, uh, let's see. There have also been creative issues with a revolving door of showrunners on Marvel Netflix shows. There have been new showrunners for every season of Daredevil with Iron Fist and Jessica Jones also undergoing a showrunner change. By the way, no official return date for The Punisher or Jessica Jones has been made public by either Marvel or Netflix. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, if, if Daredevil falls, the rest of them are going to. So... I don't know. There you go, gang. There you go. It looks like the Marvel Netflix era thing is over. There, It's done. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know what to think about this myself. I mean, you know, I liked what they produced. I liked some of it. I disliked very little, actually. Just Jessica Jones Season 2 is the only one that I actively disliked, you know. I, I, I enjoyed Iron Fist. I enjoyed Defenders, but... um. I, I can recognize that Daredevil was a hell of a lot better than that. I don't know. What do you think? Do you, do you, are you okay with this? Do you hope they go to Hulu or Disney actually says, well, we're going to have some good gritty content and continue Daredevil? What do you want to see? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, you know the drill. Click like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And, uh... Yeah, if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Patreon. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep the lights on. Helps keep making videos for you. Like to thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.